Bonds with a drive. Looks like number 70 for Barry Bonds. And it is tying the all-time record set in 1998 by Mark McGuire. Barry Bonds hits home run number 70 at Enron Field. He's now homered in every National League park this year. There's his son, Nikolai, greeting him at home plate. Pujols, left field, game winner! Just to the right of Big Mac land, the Cardinals win it. Albert hits another, number 41. Crowd asked for it, he delivered. No doubt about number 41. Oh no, his ball right there, bell tie. And he did not miss it, his 41st home run of the year. He scores now his 100th run of the season. Nine seasons, he's done that eight different times. You're looking at one of the greatest hitters of this generation and of all generations in baseball. And Marte hits a blast. This ball's deep. This ball is gone. Goodbye, baseball. Hello, win column. Marte, a walk-off winner. Well, you talk about selling out and looking for a pitch and getting it. The Pirates wake up in the ninth. Ninth inning, fireworks. And the Pirates find a way. That is right in the wheelhouse. He knows it. Santos knows it. The catcher knows it. It's good night. And a high fly ball to center. Back goes Pagan to the track, to the wall, gone. Five home runs for Yasiel Puig. That gets the Dodgers on the scoreboard. It's three to one, San Francisco and Wu. Did Bumgarner holler something at Puig? Puig certainly got angry. We'll watch Puig first. Okay, home run. Flips the bat. I bet that's what Bumgarner didn't like. He must have said something to Puig. Yep. Runners go. Ortiz drives one to deep right field. Back goes Kiermaier and it is gone. Three run home run for David Ortiz his 25th of the year and the Red Sox take a 3 nothing lead. David Ortiz gets a change up this time that stays inside that ball is supposed to be down and away and it stays right in the power of Ortiz. David knows it right away, slings the bat toward the dugout, and then watches it. High drive into deep left Did center it. field, and it is gone. A grand slam by Frazier. And the Reds walk him off in grand fashion. What a year this guy's had. Wow, man, that is exciting. Two home runs last night, two more tonight. And he just gets a hang and break a ball right there. And does it carry? Yes, it does. Down the right field line. That ball is smoked deep to right field. It is gone. A three run home run for Odubel Herrera. It's home run number five for Herrera. Think he knew he got it right here? Now, all of a sudden, the balance is back. Stays on that back leg, doesn't come out of the stance. Oh, crushes makes... that ball to right field. Another big 2 0 knock, picking up your teammates. Yeah! Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat, the ball goes flying, it is gone. 2 0 socks. The ball was majestic, the bat was a javelin, and the socks lead. That's home run number four. He's driven in 12. The Sox have a two run lead, and Tim Anderson with a fourth home run replay, and this is a bomb. And a no doubter. Well, this one went a long way. Cease fires. It wasn't intentional. That's deep, and it is gone. A three run homer. We told you Willie loves hitting against the White Sox. Well, Schwarber went the other way. Contreras does the same, and it pays off. And David Ross has to be really excited about the approach from his hitters here tonight. Tim Anderson worthy bat flip right there, too. <laughs> the bat's higher than the ball. Get it! Oh! 
Oh, my. In the air to right center field. How about this for a homecoming? That is crushed into the second deck for Bryce Harper. And he gives those Phillies fans a chance to jump up and down one more time. This ball is K-I-L-T kill Thomas. My goodness. Hellickson tries to sneak this 89 mile an hour fastball by Bryce Harper. It ain't happening. 2-2 coming to Alonzo. And he drives one to deep left. Forget that. That is way, way out of here. A monstrous home run off the bat of Pete Alonzo to give the Mets the lead. An absolute majestic bomb. And Pete Alonzo has struck. Well, he said this game was going to be big. Flipped his bat. I think he deserved a little bit of a bat flip right there. That wasn't a big show up, but I'm sure that's a huge, huge emotional home run. Pitch has been the magic one tonight. This time he hits the ball to deep right field. Cody Bellinger has done it. And the Dodgers lead in game seven. Cody Bellinger has just given the Dodgers a 4-3 to three lead. And it again comes on the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Tell you what, they didn't get it in. That ball is over the middle of the plate, and he can handle that pitch. Getting it in, inside, jamming him. But credit Cody Bellinger for not missing the pitch he had to get. Putting his team ahead. Fastball hit to left. It is long gone. That is how you make a statement when you've been struggling. That's how you make a statement when you had a rough play in the infield and the kind of moment Reese Hoskins has been dreaming of having since he put a Phillies uniform on. We have the longest tenured Philly period on the mound in this game in Aaron Nola. Well the longest tenured Phillies position player just crushed a three run home run. The 1-1. One, one. Bautista drives it. Deep left field. Gone. The Blue Jays dugout has erupted as they greet Bautista. At the edge of the track, suddenly it is six to three for Toronto. The Bautista home run, another no doubter to left. Well, he got a fastball in and he smoked it, and he watched it.